you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they could have done something better, yeah. but you know, fuck, man. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I guess so. But, <laughs> you know, shit. Now, if you go into and and then all right, so so we had we have that. We talked about that woke shit with as Madam Web. Um, and I kind of want to jump into this right here. So we we dove into this a very little bit, and I want to get into it a little bit more. So X Men is is uh you were a big you were a fan of the show back in the day the the one in the nineties, the cartoon Saturday morning cartoon yeah yeah when it first started coming out too especially, you know, yeah, yeah yeah no same here now, they are going to bring back that X Men on Disney Plus. Watch the series finale of X Men next Saturday morning. Okay. Check your listings. Disney Plus. To see. Goodbye. Yeah. I am proud of you all, my X-Men. Fate lies in our hands now. 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 Little more We have to stay vigilant. The I can barely hear you. Trusted us with his dream. how dark it is we must believe in each other we get this done by working together as a team jeez thumb keep buzzing in my ear jubilee Okay. Oh shit, that was cool. To me, my X Men. Magneto, the last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything he built now belongs to me. Oh, they killed right. Xavier. That was pretty good. That didn't look bad. Well, that's how the show ended. Yeah, that's how the original show ended, and they're going to pick up after. Are they going to bring him back? Who knows? So, so you're saying the show started <laughs> yeah, in 1992, and it yeah, ran until 1997? 96. 96 or 97, yeah, was like the last one, yeah. And they're going to pick up from okay. there. Okay. So... Yeah, so yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's take a seasons. Yeah, yeah. Now now let's Yeah, they did 5 seasons. Um and now they're bringing it back and now let's take a look at this uh some of the characters here. Okay. Oh, who's this here? This is Morph. Okay. <laughs> Morph's characterization <laughs> in X-Men 97 in quotes. This is a lighter take on the character who is non-binary and has an interesting buddy relationship with Wolverine. The character's past with Mr. Sinister, he the show's it. villain, could Not also come house. into play. Yeah. Why do they right, have to bring right. Wolverine into this? Why do they have to do that? What's that about? Oh, so they're probably going to make him fucking gay. <laughs> gay. Why do they have to fucking do that to Wolverine of all characters? Yeah. Why couldn't they just have Moji over here, whatever his name is, have an interesting relationship with some other made-up character, and they could be the two non-binary, whatever, ambiguously gay duo characters of the X-Men? But right. I, I don't even want to hear any more of this shit. That's I would have went on with it if that didn't say anything about Wolverine. You know, but the fact that they had a fucking crow that bar that in there... Especially with Logan being the most popular character, you know what I mean? Like you said, those movies and Hugh Jackman is like, yeah, he's like out there being a fucking tough guy with his claws and there's no shirt oh. on. Oh, and in the comics, it's worse, man. They actually made like, and of course, this, this comic failed miserably, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, they try to make it look like him, like Wolverine, Jean Grey, and Cyclops 
had this like three way relationship thing going. Wow. It's like, which is exactly what I want to think about when I'm reading comic books. I don't want to see fucking Magneto just owning Wolverine with his magnet powers and shit. No, no, no. Let's let's talk about where Wolverine's putting his fucking dick. Oh, and it turns out yeah. it's going to be in the Cyclops. Or, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, great. Right. That's it's just what we need. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Way, to just, yeah. Way to just pervert these characters. They're not even yeah. real. They started yeah. out as comic books. Ugh. Now it's spilling into into this into uh, this Disney yeah, show. Yeah, it's which propaganda. I, like I'm it's saying for a third and time, and that's yeah, for young kids, propaganda. you know, to become made allies and to yeah, loosen yeah, up no. sexually, you know, sexually. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna actually we're gonna go on a Deadpool three uh, talk in a second. We're gonna actually um, edit this video. We might have you might have to label this one private. <laughs> this might be the Alex you know? Jones level, the one that unseen yeah, episode. Especially with the Deadpool stuff, because those movies they really and at least they try to say it's rated R and it's for an older sure. audience. And at least I, just, I respect that. But they really sure. pushed the whole. We spoke about this too. Their whole fucking montage in the first one, and uh, and that was the only the one we got. Jokes and the, yeah, but then everything else is all sex puns. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. you, you want to bang the, the landlord, the older black lady who was blind, or the blind like black lady. Yeah, and she's like, "Don't tell me what a good time I'll suck that day." Whatever the fuck she's, <laughs> they write. The name is yeah, over sex. Like, oh, it feels joke. so big in his hand. <laughs> yeah, shit like that. Little baby yeah. hand. Oh, little right. Oh, day. yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'm so glad you remember fucked better up, than I man. do. That's yeah, my yeah. point. Yeah, that is fucked up. But again, you know, rated R. I mean, it's context is jokes is jokes it. too. Believe me, I'm not hung yeah. up on it. You know, jokes is jokes. Yeah, Fine. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know. you know, like Kumia would say these jokes. Yeah. You know, but um, but as far as now that it's making the jump to Disney, I don't know if I want that anymore. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I want. These sex puns. In fact, we saw the trailer and it says, oh, you don't know about, uh, trust me, I may know about pegging, but Disney doesn't, which is a flat out lie for, for one. But yeah. I mean, like, right. if you so throw they, in that joke so in there. So here we are in part three. Yeah, they just can't, they just can't drop it. Because yeah. they know rated R just means anybody without a good parenting is watching it. So they know they're hitting yeah. anywhere from the 10 year old to the 18 year old. it's a Marvel you know? movie. It's not like Eight millimeter with Nicolas Cage was like, yeah, no, nah, I don't think I'm ready for that shit, you know. Or seven, yeah, I was no, no, this is two, right? Yeah, that's a different thing. But Marvel, but this is a fucking Marvel movie where kids are gonna be into the MCU, growing up with Iron Man and this out of the other. You know, you know, again, as little kids right now, they're gonna get up to yep. Deadpool at some point when we get to this current phase. Right. You know, the kids are gonna be Deadpool this Halloween, this next Halloween, and. Yeah, right. and how many parents are not going to know because they're too busy working? It's like, oh, it's just another fucking superhero. You know, shame on yeah. them for not looking yeah. deeper. But at the same time, I yeah. get it. On top you of know? all the bad parents out there who won't parent, and they won't even yeah. be monitoring one minute of what their kids are watching, and they'll eventually see that movie and they'll hear all the lines and see all the shit, and they'll be eleven and twelve years old. You know what I mean? And then you'll have the parents, yeah. then you'll have the real idiot parents who like they're putting it on and they're just playing it all the time, and the kids are just hearing it, whatever, playing with right. their Legos, whatever the kids play with now, their iPhones. So and the parents will be like, "Yo, this movie's so great!" Blah blah. blah. Kids just running around in diapers, you know? Yeah, right. I'm not changing them this time. <laughs> yeah. Deadpool's talking yeah. about begging. We gotta. That. Uh... <laughs> yeah right. No, nah, but but no, hundred percent, man. This is like so. So yeah, now that he's with Disney, you know, I like I was like, oh damn, I was gonna be upset if they took out the edge and the rated Rness of it. But now that he's there, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I was wrong. I don't know, you know. Uh, and, you know, at one point, I guess I don't mind so much about the gore, the blood, the beheading, the fucking, you know, amputations and. You know, I get like the violence of it. Yeah, believe it or not, doesn't violence. bother me as much. Mm -hmm. But and they, but they are on eleven in those movies with the violence. Oh yeah, which I think merits the rated R. Like okay, I get the and and that's kind of what I. Mm -hmm. In fact, 
I go through this a bunch, man, because now Logan and Deadpool were rated R, and we do get like blood in the scenes and stuff. Now, if I watch like a MCU, like Captain America movie, there's like no blood. There's like nothing, and it's like, ugh. Like, and then then you notice it. It's like, okay, this isn't. I'm starting to think these movies are bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're playing make believe. They're not real suit, you know. But yeah, um, that was always my issue. It was like, yo, you could go hard with the blood a little bit. You know, it's a fucking fact of life. If you get smashed in the face, something's gonna happen. You know, right? Especially by a fucking superhero. <laughs> yo, totally, totally. You know, but but they they can't find a balance, right? You take a movie like or a show like The Boys. The Boys goes too hard with that shit, in my opinion. And especially with the sex mm. stuff, they in fact they almost lost me with, with uh season three. And in fact, a few you know I just learned to fucking just fast forward those scenes, and I said get on my life. But uh, yeah, I've never but seen damn. that show. And it, uh, I go back and forth on it because it, uh, you know, lost it's, you. It's, it's, it sounds like you're almost out. Almost, you're but it, out it, the, show. the rest of the season got me back, you know. But like oh, it. it this is something you can notice with Amazon shows or even Netflix shows. And we've talked about this. The first show, the first episode always has some like off the wall, super perverted sex shit. Like for five seconds, they'll, they'll throw mm-hmm. something in there for like from five seconds to a minute. They'll do some shit in there and throw it in there. And it's like pointless, pointless. Yeah. And folks, I'm telling you this right now. Yo, at this point, Unless you're fucking Pornhub, you know we, we don't need to be seeing sex or titties or ass in a fucking movie anymore. We don't. Yeah, so we don't need to see any type of sex. It's done. It's done. Yep. I'm sorry. Simulated sex a bit is of stupid. 90s. You had your American Pie. After that, it's done. It's right. It's yeah. Stupid. And yo, remember how American Pie? Like, it didn't feel so cutting edge. I mean, it was we considered it raunchy enough. You know, especially for his day. But mm-hmm. you watch that movie now, it's pretty fucking tame. A lot of it is, yeah. you know, you get you get Shannon and Elizabeth titties. I mean, which, guys, American Pie, worth the watch. It, you know, it, it was a funny movie. But it's it's actually very tame by today's standards. Yeah, absolutely. You know? But here we go. Here we are. And man. even by then, it was the end of being, like, you know, what they call second hat in comedy. That was already the tail end of that, like, even having an effect, you know? Yeah. Luckily, some comedy, we've gotten some really good comedy old since then. <laughs> yeah, right? It's, it's old. But how many times are, how many times are going to tell the story of Porky's and fucking, you know, it's the same shit. Yeah, you know? Porky's and meatballs. Exactly. So that's why I'll, I'll give American Pie it and maybe Van mm-hmm. Wilder and that that's it. You I, know? I wasn't a fan of that one. I, uh... Yeah, I I don't know. I think after that is old school. That was old, you know that I love old school with the Will Ferrell yeah, and uh. Loud, funny. Yeah, that was fucking great, man. That's a, a and great to my movie. recollection, no titties though. Oh yes, yeah, uh, I don't think there's any nudity. There's was definitely that? titties in that movie. Absolutely. That. In fact, you had um uh, my boy Blue, and he had a wrestle. He had a, a oil wrestle with those fucking with those two girls at once, and but that's what killed him. When they took oh, off okay. their shirt. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right there. Well, you remember it better than I do. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Even that's that my was superpower. Like early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. It was like 2002, 2003, somewhere around that era. Yeah. I think. Right. But yeah. um, no, I'll even say that's... by 2010, when that was played, you know, played out. Yeah. But then by 2010 or so, we're getting into like The Hangover. Which hey, and, uh, another Top Phillips movie, and uh, The Hangover is an. I watched that recently, and uh, again, that one held up very well for me. I don't know when's the last time you hmm. saw it. I saw it once. Not when a fan? It was first released on DVD, and no, I didn't like it that much. Oh my god! Here you go, folks. There's another one. <laughs> Chuck hates the 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 Hangover. So was, were you not in the mood for it, or were you hungover? Movie. No, I was in the mood for it. I was actually really hyped for it. I thought it was going to be like way funny and way different than what it was because I feel like that was a misleading and giveaway trailer. That was one of those movies where like Mike Tyson punching the dude. He's got the tiger, the Asian guy in the trailer. They have him jump out in his underwear, but in the movie they have him jump out naked. 
But yeah. like Humiliation other than just ritual. the naked shots of it, we, yeah, that was a that was a movie that they that they twisted the story a little bit. You didn't think it was going to be so much about. Um, I don't know. It got a little dark in there for a little while. It was a very dark like, movie. Yeah, it like started it dark. Like, yeah. What there was, was that? What I cut you off. I feel like they did that already. Oh but yeah, like very bad guys, things. Very bad things, and they kill the hooker, and it's like it was. It was wanting to be very bad things without the accidental killing of the hooker or something like that. Now the what your your critique of the hangover. Your critique yeah. of The Hangover was the reason I did not like Very Bad Things. I thought Very Bad Things was going to be a funny movie, and I went to the theater to go see that one. And it was wow. just, it was just like, oh, everyone here sucks. I, I, you know, yeah, they killed this hooker, and then I didn't it's like, like that movie either. yeah, yeah. I but The Hangover yeah. at least didn't have that element where someone died. Like there was none of that. You know, the characters are still redeemable, and I could see myself kind of rooting for them to some degree, you know, and the whole you know, yeah. trying to get their dude back and shit. Okay. I, you know, um, it, it was definitely structured a little bit differently, but either way though, I mean, as far as comedies go, it, the hangover would hold us over until Tropic Thunder. And I think that's probably the last great comedy. Wow. You know? Wow. Interesting. Yeah. 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 That might be the last great comedy. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I've seen good comedy since. Don't get me wrong, but Tropic Thunder is like a perfect comedy. You know, yeah, tell me you hate Tropic good. Thunder, Chuck, good. so I can isolate that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like movie. not love, but I like Tropic Thunder. Oh, that's that, good enough. And I only seen it twice, and I remember it fairly well. You know, and I remember each time I saw it, I was like. Did I like that movie? Let me watch it again. I was like, I did like that movie. That, that they got me on that. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't man. seen it since because I feel like I got it. You know, Jack Black tied to a tree. I'll suck your dick for heroin. Just on timing. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. heard it. You know, so even that. You know, a little played, but okay. It was Jack Black at the height of his game. You know, but he delivered it great. I will. I will literally did, suck your did, dick yeah. right now. <laughs> he said that to <laughs> Oh my god. Stroke the shaft, swallow yeah. gravy. <laughs> yeah, that was well, fucking... yeah, see that story is like a, it's only half funny to me. I don't know. It's not like really <laughs> yeah. funny, funny to me. Well, that's the point. that's the yeah. unedited, and it's it's not the funniest part of the movie, you know, by all means. But he's great in it. Like I thought he was funniest. Like the the one that got me the most was when he's trying to do some dope on the side, and then the bat just comes and swoops and takes it off or. <laughs> You know, some shit like that. You know, he's out chasing the bat. Oh, but before that, you know, like he's trying to do it, and then uh, the one dude comes and sees, "Hey, what you doing?" He goes, "Ah!" He flips out, and he goes, "Yeah, these are my jelly beans." Oh, can I have? Them? No, you can't have any fucking jelly beans. Like the way he said, that. I was like, "Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, the dude's perfect." But, uh, shit, Robert yeah, Downey like Jr. It, yeah, movie's great, man. So he likes Tropic Thunder. I can isolate that. That movie's worthy of. Perfect love. That's like a that's a ten. That movie's a ten. Ten out of ten. Even the shots that are done, it's like when they do the action scenes, they look like legitimate action scenes, explosions, all that stuff. Perfect movie. Yeah, yeah. No, that that's good. Um damn, what else we got here? But so yeah, you know, so now we're dealing with that woke shit. Now 